Attack on Titan is a series that at this point, I feel like it doesn't need an introduction at all. It's such a timeless classic and personally, one of my favorite not only animes of all time, but also just overall pieces of fiction. I believe Attack on Titan deserves all the praise and respect it's garnered over its lifespan. And such a beloved series that I care about so much is over. Attack on Titan is over. These are a couple of words that I never expected to utter, honestly. Like, it's still kind of crazy at this point because at the time of me recording this, the final chapter of Attack on Titan has officially released to the public. So everyone and their families finally get to see how this story ends. Well, every everyone but me because if people don't know at this point i'm actually an anime only watcher of attack on titan i have been following this series so closely ever since it first premiered i believe like seven or eight years ago man like it's just insane to think that like once this series continues in winter of 2022 man when i get to continue this series along with you guys here on the channel that we're gonna reach an ending a, a solid ending like no other season no anticipated wait for like the next story arc that's it just the end man so it's crazy that today marked you know the day that attack on titan ended the manga the final chapter has been released and now being an anime only watcher like i said i don't know what happens in the ending of the manga i don't know any of the events that lead up to it you know past the point that we're at in the anime so, you know, I'm completely blind in that. So I even posted a tweet that like the struggle of being an anime only watcher, bro. I literally, I had to block everything, bro. My, I, I had to purge Attack on Titan from my feed because everybody, and I mean everybody. Yes, you, you're probably talking about it with your friends, you know, probably like 10 minutes ago, right? Everyone is talking about this ending and me going into it. Like I said, I don't know what happened in the ending, but I do see some of my friends online. I do see some of my, you know, colleagues talking about it. And I just wanted to give my opinion on it because it seems like there are a couple of factions right now with the ending. There are people, there's a couple of people in different groups with different opinions on this ending. There's one group that believes this is the perfect ending to Attack on Titan. This is everything that I've wanted. It perfectly culminates everything that we've built up over the 11 years of this manga has that, that that's been being created that isayama has made with his bare hands it's perfect and there's another side that if, unfortunately they believe isayama they he dropped the ball he dropped the ball he fumbled the bag at the end because they aren't fucking with the ending they actually i mean you know i don't like throwing around the b word but like they actually think it's a bad ending and like i said like i i don't really have any you know say in this now personally for me and i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can agree with me on this but an ending does not make or break a story for me like when i continue attack on titan whenever the second part of season four releases in winter of 2022 and i finally get to see the ending even if it's not what i expect it to be even if it's unsatisfactory right that does not mean that attack on titan is still not one of the greatest pieces of fiction that i've ever had the experience to lay my eyes on there are so many moments in the series that i will remember until the day i die like i promise you that bro i will be reading attack on titan to my goddamn grandchildren bro on my deathbed that it, it's just attack on titan has kind of solidified itself already as one of the greats and like i personally believe that to the bottom of my heart bro but at the same time, I do believe an ending is incredibly important to a story. There are so many occurrences in anime and manga that they just that it like the way it ends is just they can never they can never land it, bro. They can never stick the landing to an ending. It's so rare nowadays for an anime or manga to get like a really good ending, like a strong strong ending. Like personally for me, I believe the two things in a story that matter the most is the beginning and the end. With Attack on Titan, I believe Attack on Titan has one of the best first episodes ever in anime history. Like it has one of the most killer and intense hooks ever. That just, 
it grabs you in and spoiler alert for episode one of season one if you somehow haven't seen it but with aaron's mom dying like I, the music in that scene the intensity the voice acting that scene is what like as soon as i saw that i'm like holy shit, this is what we're getting into huh like i was immediately grabbed in like that strong ass beginning the ending at the same time it i'm not saying the ending has to be strong like as intense as that or like uh, as like you know bloody and visceral and whatnot but the ending i feel like it has to leave some type of strong impression going back to the endings now in modern anime there's so many endings nowadays that kind of just it's kind of just it kind of just happens you know like there's so many endings that just it, it's just it's just there you know like you can't really like comment on it. it's like oh i mean yeah it ended i mean it was cool but like it's, i mean it could have been better like to this day i still stand by the fact that another one of my favorite animes of all time code geass has possibly one of the best endings in anime dude i believe code geass is ending and don't worry i'm not going to spoil it or anything but it i believe it encaptures everything the series was trying to tell over the course of its lifespan it uh, it completely captures lelouch's character it just ends so strong and you know it's just it leaves such a lasting impression man and that's what I kind of want from Attack on Titan. But like I said, even if it doesn't give me that, that does not take away from the fact that I will love this series to death. But yeah, there's so many people online right now talking about it, where there's like people are shitting on it. People are like kind of saying that, you know, the anime better have an anime original ending. First of all, there's no way that Attack on Titan is Attack on Titan's ending is that bad where people are wishing the anime has an anime original ending. I really doubt. That they're gonna do that they're probably gonna stick with the manga ending but i'm just saying now first of all i don't want to take away the fact that people are allowed to think what they want like if people are not satisfied with attack on titan's ending that's totally fine like i've found plenty of people that absolutely love this ending like i said there's plenty of people that think this is that like that was the greatest thing ever that that solidified attack on titan as one of their favorite animes that solidified aaron as one of their favorite characters or solidified so and so was one of their favorites dude like it's, at the end of the day, it's all subjective, man. It's all subjective, and I'm just so excited to see exactly what this ending has in store for us when we watch Season 4 Part 2 together here on the channel later in winter of 2022, guys. But I just wanted to come in here and talk because... I, I, I don't know, man. Seeing everyone talk about the manga, it, I, I feel left out, man. I feel left out. But at the same time, I just wanted to give my opinion on just the ending and, you know, my thoughts on it, even though I don't even know what the fuck the ending is. I just wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on just endings in general and how important they are to a story and just how I feel like even if Attack on Titan, whatever, whatever, however it ends, I still will love it to death. Yes, I might be biased, but I do not give a fuck. But I'm aware that there's probably going to be a lot of manga readers in the comments because I do know I have a lot of manga readers in my community. Some of my friends online are manga readers themselves. So it's fine. You guys can discuss the manga in the comments below. Me, myself, though, I will try to refrain uh, <laughs> from reading as many comments as I can. Because like I said before, I am not trying to get my ass spoiled. I have been spoiler free for seven years bruh seven years spoiler free on attack on titan i am not gonna get spoiled now but yeah everybody i really appreciate you guys watching this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe it's super easy takes like one second of course you guys can always change your mind later also make sure to click that bell before you head out it really helps support a lot but nonetheless it's been your boy ivory and uh yeah guys i'm out peace